Hello. Welcome to the stream. Um, so this is uh, Amber Isle. I found this game yesterday <laughs> and immediately wanted to play it. It just looks so cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be jumping right in. Um, I think so new game. We'll see how it is. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually share my stream to anywhere. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. That's the other thing. Um, give me a sec. Let me just do that. Oh, I should watch this. Each paleo venture is as unique as the focus un undertaken by. Will you create something beautiful? Inspire other paleo folk? Become rich beyond your wildest dreams? Some folk go out and find their calling, but maybe your calling will be end up will end up finding you. Only time will tell. Eventually, you'll earn your very own sore name, a, a title which reflects your place in the world. Who knows what yours may be, or where your adventures may take you? Hehe. <laughs> Each step you take is the farthest you've ever been from home and the closest you've ever been to something. I didn't read fast enough. Better have that passport at the ready. Okay. <laughs> Character creator. See, this is this is the thing I saw which made me want to buy the game. It just looks so good. <laughs> Uh, let me just finish making my post. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, now I'm done. Can't be as cute as me. What the hell? I did not deserve this. Okay, so we have... Um... <laughs> Welcome in, by the way, Vespa. We have different body types to pick from. This is cute. This is cute as hell. Floppy ears. I think I sort of need the floppy ears. Don't I? Let's see, because I think from the video they posted on YouTube, the body types limit what options you have. So I think I'm going to start with the floppy ears and see how far I can take that into um, looking like Edie, basically. <laughs> all right, so with the floppy ears, this is a mammal. So all of the, all of the faces are mammal shaped. I'm just going to check then and see if we can find anything else with floppy ears. Well, we can do this, I guess. I think this is more of like a a raptor with fuzzies. Raptor. 
And with feathers is what I meant. <laughs> oh no, this one's a raptor, definitely. I love that the raptors are very bird-like. They, they look incredibly bird-like. Oh, we got wings. Oh, in that case, maybe the others have such features. No, we just got different tail types. I think this then is the closest I'm going to get. Have a little nose horn. So these are the herbivore type, I think. can change the type of claws they have. And these are just for painting colours, I think. But yeah, I think I'll go with this. This is going to be the closest I'll get to Edie, I think. Okay. Oh, we can have stripes and everything. There we go. Alright, primary... Secondary... Eh? What does that mean? Okay, I'm going with this then, I think. Right, so primary is going to be like that. Confirm. Secondary is going to be like this. Tertiary. I guess this kind of dark color. Okay, yes. Okay, so then we've got uh, spots and stripes. And we can have spots or stripes, or both. Let's go with both, shall we? This is cute already. I love it. Now we can have body stripes. Oh yeah. Or spots. But I'm going to go with the stripes. Oh, it went blue. Hang on. Yes. This is perfect already. Stripes. Oh, and they went away.
Okay, it's kind of weird that I have to press the enter key to confirm those, but um, it is what it is. Cool. All right, so I think there was more on the head as well. So there's an eyebrow, which I also want to be that color. Outside of the eye gonna be like that. And then the inside of the eye gonna be like this. Okay, nice. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, there's another page. <gasps> okay, well that's probably a bit closer to Edie, isn't it? A little bit. Just making sure I haven't missed any other pages on other things now. But yeah. This is cute. <laughs> ED as a as a stegosaurus mode. <laughs> and we get a little outfit, little jacket, shirt and tie. Cute little jumper. It's so adorable. Oh, I like the hoodie. I'm a big fan of that. That's very cute. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, what else? We got hats, we got scarves. And various trinkets, little earrings that are on something that doesn't exist because <laughs> I don't have any ears. Edie's baby or baby Edie? I don't know. <laughs> All the characters look like this, so it's like Edie if she was a stegosaurus. <laughs> also, hello. Yes, I'm working. Good. Good to hear it. Keep working hard. <laughs> Renny Valley, welcome. Denny, hi. Okay. I think... I think that's everything that I can do on the character creator, so I'm going to do that. Doink. Um, ED, obviously. Oh, you do start as a, as a child. Uh, okay, cool. So I'm... I'm Babby. Kid. I'm going to go with Kid. So do I like grow up? I'm passing over an island right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> leaning too far overboard. Oh, I'm going to fall into this cottage. <laughs> Do you identify as lad, lass or kid? <laughs> Are you okay? Hey, wake up. Oh good, you're alive. Can you walk, kid? Probably. Yeah, I'm up and at it. No problems. All right. All right, very good. <laughs> now why don't you kindly walk yourself out of my village? Mayor? Clawsworth, you can't be serious. Ah, uh, yes, you're quite right. What was I thinking? 
Firstly, you can repay us for all the damage you've wrought. <laughs> what do you yabba dabba do in this game? So as far as I know, it's like a shop sim, but you also get to manage the village. Like it's it's a bit like Animal Crossing in that you're kind of uh you can you can landscape things and you can move towns houses around and design things like that and uh also you run a shop. So yeah. I think it's gonna be quite interesting. Judging from the shambles you've left the shop in, you're in a debt of roughly 50,000 little orange diamonds. Pretend to have concussion. <laughs> Stop playing games, you bone brain. They just fell from space. They could be really hurt. Enough with this nonsense. We just saved enough amber to get the shop renovated and now there's a massive hole in the roof. This is going to ruin us. Amber Isle cannot afford this. So what exactly do you suggest we do, Maple? We're going to fix this. There's nothing that a few pairs of hands and some stu stubbornness can't fix. <laughs> like you always used to say, right, Mayor? Dot, dot, dot. Very well. I don't care how, but when I wake up in the morning, this roof better be good as new. Good day. What a nice man. Sorry about him, he's had a lot on his plate. Um, so... You're not seriously injured or anything, right? Okay, phew. So what happened to you? You fell from a balloon? On day one of your paleo venture? That's awful. Well, don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna help you out of this mess. Oh yeah, I'm Maple Swiftwing, by the way. Amber Isle's best and only courier. What was your name again? Edie. That's a memorable name. Alright then, Edie, let's fix this roof. Let's gather up that wood over there. I'll, I'll stay here and guard the hole. Guard the hole. Yay. Yay. Alright, wood. Return to Maple. Thanks, Edie. Now for the fun part. Crafting. Making stuff. See that crafting table over there? It's pretty old and busted, but I'm sure you can still use it. Alright, let's do it. All we need is some wood planks. I've made these before. Easy peasy. Now this may be a little advanced, so I can do the crafting bit for you. F. Or I guess you can do it. Okay, I just press F. Nice. So we have wood planks. Oh, I have to quit now, I guess. Nice. Give those planks here, I'll fly up and fix it for you. <laughs> you secretly a master, cra master crafter or something? Yes, actually, I am. <laughs> is that what I think it is? No way, this is a shopkeep journal. Why would the old shopkeeper just leave one of these behind? Well, whatever, let's check out the recipes. Why don't you hold it? You have bigger claws than me. All right. All right, so we've got a recipe book and there ain't nothing in it. Oh, what's this? No way, open up that recipe. Okay, a basket. My trusty old basket broke on today's delivery run. I was gonna buy one of these tomorrow, no joke. What does the recipe require? One wood, huh? This must be a sign. We have exactly one wood left over. <laughs> How convenient. Okay, try craft a woven basket. I spent 10 years clipping one thing and it didn't even give an option to share it. What the hell? That's mean. God damn you, Twitch. 
Mobile Twitch sucks. Yes, it does. Honestly, if all you're doing is the watching part, just use Twitch in the web browser. It works so much better. <laughs> okay, building a basket. Give Maple the wooden basket. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Just look at it. Thank you. I love it. I know it's not much, but please take this. I got a hundred biddies. Bits. I'm being paid bits, but orange. <laughs> Alright, it's way past my bedtime. Oh gosh, you must be exhausted too. There's an old bedroom back there. Let me show you. I'm sure it's lovely, considering this was supposedly an abandoned house. I have to hold E. Okay, it doesn't look too bad, actually. It's not glamorous, but better than sleeping on the floor. By the way, it was nice meeting you today, Edie. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened here in Amber Isle since, well, I can't even remember. It can get pretty boring here since no one's around. Anyway, thanks again for the woven basket. Get some rest for now, I'll check up on you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, good night. Sleep. <laughs> Somebody's at the door. <laughs> there you are. Making yourself at home, eh? Well, at least Maple was telling the truth. You really did patch this up. Hey, I'm almost right most of the time. I'm glad you're still here, Edie. Guess what? I just took that woven basket out on my morning delivery route. It was perfect. Everyone was asking me where I got it, so I think they're totally jealous. I told them if they want any more info, they can come here to get it. Wait until they hear you're the only... Wait until they hear you're only here temporarily. That was a sentence that I failed to say. I should start charging for my marketing services. Really, Maple? There's demand for their work? I mean, yeah, check out the basket for yourself. That is a nice basket. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Anyway, credit where credit is due, kid. You kept your, kept your word. I can't say words, though. When all's said and done, you still destroyed Amber Isle property. This is a historical building, you know. Not to mention trespassing here to begin with. The damage may be fixed, but you've broken several Amber Isle laws. I'm faced with no option but to issue you a fine of... 500,000 Amber. good eh? However, it's clear that you haven't the amber to pay for this. You say you lost your wallet when you fell from a balloon at the start of your paleo venture? That's the oldest excuse in the book. It's all rather shady if you ask me, and I will not allow squatters in my village. So I'm going to have to ask you to li- It- Eh. Oh great, here comes Mr. Bureaucracy. Did I hear an argument happening? I can finally put that course on conflict resolution to good use. Ah, uh, Orb Corp. <laughs> I see you've found a new shopkeeper already, Mayor Clawsworth. Well done. What? I don't need you to tell me when I've done well, you... you... walking roll of red tape. And anyway, this troublemaker is no such thing. Where you see trouble, I see an opportunity. Hi, I'm Addy. And you? You're about to be roped into community service. Yeah, that is exactly what is happening here. <laughs> ah, still working on your surname then, just like me. But not for long. As an intern at Orb Corp, I've been sent here to revitalise Amber Isle. You must know Orb Corp, keeping you the centre of our orbit. You know, the company that has their claw in every mud pie to make our lives faster, cleaner and easier. I was making my usual mild coffee, asking pertinent questions, offering lots of handy hints to my bosses about their spelling and grammar errors, when I was trusted to travel 10,000 miles away with one goal, to restore the beautiful Amber Isle to its former glory. Well, 
What a quest. 10,000 miles. We don't need your help, or anyone's for that matter. Haven't you got... Haven't you lot done enough meddling? Oh, yes, it can be very hard for ha to ask for help. Anyway, when can I expect you to be open for business? Please say soon. I would just love to include you in my first report. Have you got moss in your ears, lad? I said no. Besides, they're nothing but an untrustworthy hooligan who owes this island 500,000 amber in penalties. And I'm still the mayor of Amber Isle, and you crooks can't force me to have another one of your kind to run this place. Damn. Look, Mayor, it's going to take a lot of work to restore Amber Isle. All the residents, artisans, merchants, everyone is gone. And in their place? Empty buildings, debris and dust. I've done my research. I know how incredible Amber Isle used to be. It can be like that again, but we're going to need all the help we can get. So, a crafting prodigy on a paleo venture falls from the sky straight into our village. And do you want to kick him out? Think about it. This is a win-win for us all. Why don't we let good, uh, remind me? Edie. Edie, complete the paleo venture here on Amber Isle. In return, they can repay those penalties by helping bring folks back to the island. I vote yes to this plan. And what do you have to say? <laughs> Make Amber Isle great again. I don't know, I get an iffy vibe here. <laughs> Do you believe you really have the skills to run a shop? Well, it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Huh, here's the deal. <laughs> this game looks so adorable. It does. I love it. It's like Animal Crossing, but even cuter. <laughs> If you can prove that you're really as skilled as everyone claims, I'll let you stay here for your paleo venture. However, you'll have to seriously impress me by making at least 20,000 in shop sales. Then we'll talk. It's not like we have much left to lose at this rate anyway. That's a good thing, yay! Addy, since this was your idea, it will be your responsibility to help Edie get the shop ready for customers today. So it's not strictly your role to give me tasks, I'm more of an advisor to... Magnificent. Good day, all. Lovely chap. Yeah, looks like I'm being walked over by the locals just as much as my co-workers. Well, whatever it takes to get this place back in shape, eh, Edie? Alrighty. Woo, I have no idea how this has happened, but it looks like you're sticking around for a bit longer. Oh my goodness, Maple, could this really be it? I don't know. What's it? Alright, cool. So... Oh, okay, I have to leave the shop. Nice. All right. I got three feet out the door. This will be your very own shop. Go on, bask in its potential. <laughs> Grand. Ahem. The plaza here is the perfect location smack dab in the middle of Amber Isle. Well, it's technically a few meters south, and then if you take elevation into consideration... Oh my gosh, Addy, enough words. Time for pictures. Yeah, please make me stop reading. Here, Edie, have this. It's a maple original. Go on, open it. All right. Press M. Gotcha. I'm also its best cartographer. Well, it's only cartographer. Shush. Anyway, here you can see your current location and you can move in and out to see more or less of the island. Plus any key buildings. And look, it even shows where Addy and I are. Not sure how it's doing that exactly. 
Sorry about all this unmarked land. Until those areas are opened up, I can't draw an accurate map of them. But when you discover something new, I'll update it right away. All right, cool. Anything beats doing boring old chores. And you had to ruin it. Oh yeah, I just remembered what I forgot to do today. Gotta go. See ya. <laughs> Have to vanish for a bit in a bit. Diner related duties. Hope you understand. No, of course. I understand perfectly. Should have known. Well, Edie, unlike Maple, we're actually going to do some work. Which reminds me, I don't have your shop paperwork done yet. Darn, that's going to take me all morning to sort out. Anyway, while I do that, why don't you explore the meadow? Looks like we'll be needing some rustic natural resources. Alright, catch you in a bit, Kay. Thanks for popping in. Support our local eco-friendly boutique and atelier. Now, where did I put my notary stamp? Okay, quests. We have quests. Go to Starfall Meadow. Track quest. Well, that's a big blue flashing gate, if ever I saw one. Everything's flashing blue. Gather resources from three debris piles. Okay. Got some dirt. And a plant. Nice. Pick up three brown, uh, three ground items. Ah, I cannot jump. Jumping is not a thing. <laughs> Yippee! Some dirt. I love dirt. Since I'm here, I think I'm going to collect a bit more, just in case. I'm probably going to need more resources later, so... But this is nice. I like a little chill game. I haven't had a chill game to play in a while. There you are. It really did take all morning to get your paperwork ready. I can't believe it's afternoon already. What? It's only been like 30 seconds. Chill games are very good, yeah. Doesn't time just fly when you're having fun? Be careful you don't tr lose track of time though. Each activity, like crafting, gathering or opening the shop, will cost a chunk of time. Ah. Oh yes, how did the resource gathering go? Looks like you got everything you needed in record time. It's good to see a fellow efficient worker bee. Seeing all our tasks getting ticked off is so inspiring, isn't it? Oh boy, I can feel an Addy brain blast coming on. Uh-oh. Press Z to open the inspiration menu. Here you can track your progress and achievements on Amber Isle. The more you complete, the more inspired you'll become. Inspiration can make you think of all sorts of things, like upgrades, efficiencies, and even new recipes. All your recipes go here. Organised into seven possible disciplines you can master. The trademark symbol. <laughs> yeah. Trademarked brain blast. Artisan, carpenter, chef, gardener, musician, scribe and stylist. Wow. For now, why don't you try your hand at one of them? I guess I'll start with artisan. Uh, scrolling stick, why not? Oh, I don't have enough inspiration to unlock those. 
but I can do carpenter. Okay. Rump rest. A stool. Good. Do it. Scratchy towel. What is it? A log? Okay, it's not a log. <laughs> I thought it was a log from the silhouette. Just dry yourself on a log. <laughs> Chef? Okay, I'm out of inspiration. That seems to have done the trick. Well, let's use that brand new knowledge to restock your shop. Speaking of which, let's give this paperwork the ceremony it deserves. Follow me. Okay. This won't be official until the mayor signs it, but it's my first property contract. Do you mind? Uh, no. Grand, then, as an Orb Corp trained notary, Edie. Pursuant to Article 6, 1B of the Amber Isle Municipal Code, as regards paid adventure, etc., 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 I hereby officially bestow you upon no, bestow upon you the keys to, uh, what's your shop called? Oh, what should we call our shop? <laughs> I wasn't prepared to have to think of a name. There you go. Edie's Eclectic Ephemera. Bit of a mouthful, though. <laughs> we'll call it Triple E for short. As you can see, the shop is pretty empty right now, but the best way to fill it is to make things to sell. It's almost like we gathered some resources beforehand just for this very moment. Yeah, I was anticipating this. Well, show me what you've got, Edie. Okay, I can make that. And I can make this. make two of those. Okay. You're a crafting machine, Edie, but it'll all be for nothing if we can't display them nicely. These here are your display units. You can place your items on here. Okay. Stock the shop. Ah. Choose anything from here and drop it on your displays. Try putting your items on the displays. Okay. Well, I'm trying to drag it. That's not working. Alright, cool. Done. Only one thing left to do. Yes. Set your prices. You must do this before you open the shop, as once that door opens, you can't change them. Give it a try, then let me know when you're done. Okay. I don't know. Mark things up a little bit. No idea. Well, this is your big moment, Edie. Time to open Edie's Eclectic Ephemera and make your first amber. Open the shop. 
and we're open. This is your view of the shop when you're behind the counter. Fun, right? Looks like our first customer is here. Hiya. Oh, it's Maple. <laughs> nice. Well, I suppose you count. What? I'm a paying customer. Welcome, Mayor. So, what did you think, Mayor? Hush, child. I'm just here to make sure you aren't selling cheap tat. Nothing more. Right, Edie, try time to show him what you've got. Well, I've got a, a log that kind of looks like a stool, and I've got some scratchy towels. Well, it's good, but it's not great, is it, Edie? It will suffice for now, I suppose. Looks like your price was just right. Great start. Cool. What is this? All right, so I have to press E here. Now it's time to s learn how to secure a haggle sale. Are you going to haggle with me, really? Over a scratchy towel? Kindly play along, won't you? On Amber Isle, if we love an item but not the price, it's time to haggle. You and customers may go back and forth until you agree on a price. This is your current asking price. Should I be hearing this part? Try increasing it a good bit. Huh, <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? Oh, even more. Wow, all right. <laughs> um, this is quite pricey, like ridiculously pricey. Wait, this is part of the act? Yes, as you can see, the price is far too high. Maple, what price would you want to pay for this? Um, like 663? Now you can see your customer's counter haggle. Let's try and reach a middle ground. All right. Okay, nice. 800. Well done. Now pay close attention to this part. After landing a sale, you can get a good idea of how it went down. Here you can see the amber made and friendship gained with that customer. But what are we looking at here? Don't worry about it, Mabel. Cheap prices mean more friendship. High prices mean more profits. Both can be useful, but how you run your shop is up to you, Edie. Well, whatever is going on right now, all I know is that I have an awesome new purchase to go try out. Later. Oh, and good luck, Edie. You got this. Okay. So many profits. Sweet. Don't worry, Edie. We only had a few customers today, but that's to be expected. Word will definitely spread. Soon enough, Edie's Eclectic Ephemera will be the hot destination for all your shopping needs. I'm sure of it. Speaking of customers, have a look in your shopkeep journal. You should have made a record of everyone on the island you've met so far. Okay, I'd have to open the journal. Oh, this one. The more you get to know everyone, the more this page will fill up with useful information. This lists what items a paleo folk likes, and more importantly, what they're likely to buy in the future. Hmm. We're looking a little empty in here. Tell you what, I'll let you in on a secret of mine. I love the scribe discipline. You don't seem surprised? Maybe I look like the type. All right. He likes medium carpenter. Maple likes... I don't know. Okay, interesting. Ah, seeing you start all this shopkeeping reminds me of when I first came to Amber Isle. So young, so optimistic, so full of the dreams of a, a few weeks ago. Don't worry, Edie, I'm just being dramatic. Orb Corp demands a lot of me, but it's because they care about their mission. They want Amber Isle to be everything I know it can be. And they think I'm the blah 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 I clicked by accident. 
Looks like it's that time again, Edie. We've both done a lot today, so make sure you get your blue to the bl blue to sheep. <laughs> Let's get our blue to sheep. Now I need to go do all the rest of my work. Oh. I can't do that right now. Why not? Sleep until morning. Well, for that, I need to go into my bedroom, don't I? It let me the second time. Cool. I have a TV. Doesn't seem to do anything. Another knock at the door. When will they ever leave me alone? <laughs> Good morning, Edie. I don't know about you, but I slept like a log last night. A whole four hours. Now I'm ready to take on the day. You'll never guess what's happened. Maple spotted a boat headed this way. I bet it's just filled with customers. Let's go see. Okay. Oh, cute. It's a sea dinosaur, and I forgot the name. Came here on purpose? I mean, that is to say, uh, welcome. What's your name? <laughs> Stego Edie is cute. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. I like that I still got to do the spots and stripes and things. Name's Coral Simitide. Finest sailor to have ever sailed the seas. Try saying that one three times fast. No. You know, I've never heard of Amber Isle up until recently. Something stirring up in the ports about a basket or something. <laughs> and lo and behold, suddenly we've got a last one in to hop on over. She could barely wait to get off my boat. Although mostly I'm excited about finding some new ingredients here for my 6C soup. And on that note, you'll have to excuse me or my broth will be less 6C soup and more C6 soup. Ahoy mateys. Cool, cool. Our first visitor, and it sounds like there could be more where she came from. Now, where were we? Oh yes, gathering resources for Edie's Eclectic Ephemera. What do you have so far? Wait, did you literally pick these up from digging through garbage and scavenging off the ground? Yes. <laughs> oh Edie, that's just horrible. Here, courtesy of Orb Corp's welcome pack, these should mean you don't have to do that. Okay, shovel scythe, pickaxe and axe. Oh, I hope there's name patches. Cool. I'm wielding an axe. Can't do that right now. Oh, what do I have to do then? Go to Star Four Medal. Now I now I can go. <laughs> collect basic wood, collect basic stone. Simple enough. Hell yeah. Collect dirt. I can do that. I'm so good at collecting dirt. What are you, some kind of a journalist? <laughs> hmm. 
Nice. Uh, I need plant. Oh, these are plants. Okay. Okay, go to the quest marker. Can do. Eek, someone help me. Uh oh. You've been trapped by plants, oh no. Let me just uh, collect all of those. Purely for your benefit and not for mine. Ouch, darn brambles stuck to my foot. Oh gosh, I'm Nelly, Nelly Woodhorn. I came here on Coral's boat to finish that, to visit that new shop. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for saving me. I'm a wood merchant by trade. I was hoping to strike up some new business. Maybe see what trees grow here and... Oh my gosh, I'm rambling about work and I haven't even asked your name yet. Edie, you're the shopkeeper that I'm here to visit? Oh my gosh, what a terrible first impression. I'll definitely visit Edie's Eclectic Ephemera later. Edie, thanks again for getting me out of a prickly predicament. Ugh, Nelly, that was so lame. <laughs> Cool. We done it. Okie dokie. Plant. What's that? That's... okay, it's a storage box. Okay. I'm a fast learner, but what's really inspired me is hearing about you heroically rescuing a visitor. Maybe we should use this inspiration to learn a new recipe. Oh, interesting choice, Edie. You're always finding ways to surprise me. Wait, but I didn't learn a new, new recipe yet. Uh, how do I learn the recipes again? I forgot. It's not that one. Okay. What was the thing? Open inspiration, it's Z. Okay. There we go. Okay. Hmm. 
What should we do? Scrawling stick. That's what I wanted to do earlier. Let's have one of those. Otherwise known as a pencil. Okay, made a few things. And I just accidentally found out I can press T to uh, edit the shop, so I can do that. Cool. What's my goal? My goal? Why do I have a little red tag here? What does it mean? Oh, this. No? Not that. Swamp storage. No, it's not that. Okay. I had done a thing. Craft medium carpenter items. Nice. Oh, I got some more inspiration. That's cool. Set the prices. I don't really know what to do apart from I mean I can run around <laughs> we got a barter Anyway, I thought I should come and see if you can recommend me any wood items that are in stock. Oh, Edie, this is a great learning opportunity. Sometimes Pelia folk will ask you to use your shopkeeper knowledge to recommend them items. Pay attention to the key details they ask for and then choose something that fits their requirements. Well, they want something with wood, so... I can do that. <laughs> Time to close the sale. Offer Nelly a good price and see if she bites. Bite? But Addy, I'm a herbivore. I come in peace. <laughs> Recommendation sales means customers play a higher amount and get closer with you, all thanks to your specialist work. Alright. Meh. Can't afford that. Okay. What about 560? Oh. <laughs> I feel mean now. Okay. There you go. Ringing every last gem out of these people. Yeah, that sounds about right. Time for your last customer of, customer of the day. Who dat? Me! Oh, okay. Your tr for transparency's sake, I had an errand I forgot to do today, but I think you can help me. 
I'd love to put in a custom order, Edie. Essentially, these are just requests for specific items that customers can return for later. It's what a typical custom order looks like. I can come back in two days to pick it up. So, wood planks, that's it. Okay, easy. Normally you can reject custom orders, but I know you can't say no to me, Edie. <laughs> this will let me evaluate your shopkeeping skills, but, well, mostly I need this done or I'm toast. Okay. Thanks. Because custom orders are specially made, you'll get a sizable chunk of amber and your customers will feel closer to you. If you fail an order, however, you'll risk alienating your customers. But don't worry, I know you won't let me down, Edie. Cool. There's one last thing I want to show you today, so meet me in the plaza when you're ready. Alright, I'm just going to make your wood planks. Fancy meeting you here. According to my records, the plaza used to have a lot more in it than it does currently. Now that you're Amber Isle's premier shopkeeper, you're the backbone of this island's economy. With great power comes great responsibility, Edie. By funding the refurbishment of the island, we can attract more folk to Amber Isle and get more customers for the shop. Try upgrading something in the plaza to see how it works. Um, okay. Craft, uh, build the outdoor crafting table. How do that? What? I can throw all my money in this and it kind of goes up sometimes. Okay. Looks like you've made an outdoor cra made an outdoor crafting table. Well done. Sometimes it can be a pain to have to return to a crafting bench in your shop when you're out and about. Well, that pain is solved when you can craft in the great outdoors. There are all sorts of upgrades needed across the island, and in return, your life will be made easier and more efficient. It's always lessons with you, Addy. You know we're trying to keep our new resident, not bore the kid to death. Exactly. What's more fun than a streamlined process of max maximum productivity? Yeah, yeah, tell it to your scrapbook, buddy. Is Mr. Rules and Regulations here done with you? Mr. Rules and... Hey! Working all the time totally blows, Edie. Let's kick back. But we... Don't forget business tenants of Amber Isle Plaza are entitled to regular breaks. Village Code, Article 191-C. How many breaks have you had since you arrived here, Edie? I mean, I slept. <laughs> you must take your mandated rest periods, Edie. I'll leave you to it. And Maple, try to keep our new so shopkeep in one piece, please. I worry about him, you know. I think if he stops for even a second, he'll eventually burst into flames. Anyway, I have no idea which article of the village code that thing about breaks really is, but it's still right. Seriously, you should come and chill at the meadow when you're ready. See you there. Okay, I can do that. Right, Edie, it's important for you to know how we chill on Amber Isle. When you want to hang, all you do is ask. And now we're hanging out. Isn't that easy? <laughs> if only it was that easy in real life. Let's go and explore and gather some stuff together. We're hanging out. Doing work. <laughs> I, li I like that... She was like, oh, you got to take breaks, but um, also my only idea for hanging out is to go and do more work. We have to, we have to keep collecting resources.
I think that log's too big for me to break. Hmm. Oh wow, you gather fast, Edie, but it looks like you're having trouble carrying it in those tiny pockets of yours. While I sure know a thing or two about carrying a lot of stuff at once, does that help? Now look at all the space you have. Trust me, larger pockets are a gal's best friend. I don't know about you, Edie, but I'm suddenly feeling pooped. Why don't we call it a day? If you want to tell someone to politely buzz off, just do it the same way you ask them to hang out. But for real, it was nice spending time with you, Edie. Let's do it again sometime. Return to your shop. Okay. Although, I feel like I... If, if, if you are not aware, I've learned how to bark like a dog. <laughs> I don't know if it's coming through the microphone, but... Uh... <laughs> This is the price of me having no window open, because it's warm in here. Ooh. I've unlocked a new place. What this? It's a little campsite. Cute. And a mine that's blocked. I guess that means I get to go mining at some point as well. <laughs> but yeah, seems like... Uh there is uh, lots of interesting stuff in this game. Right, oh, it's dark time. I mean, night time. It's dark at night time. That's words. All right, sleepy times. Is the map big? Um, currently, I've explored that much of it. And there's quite a lot. So, yes, I think it is quite big. Another knock on the door. Do they ever not knock at the door? It's Addy again. Surprise, surprise. How's it going? Got some more to learn about shopkeeping today. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Edie, are you ready for my favourite part of running a shop? I can practically hear the spreadsheet sing. Oh, good. Shop ranking. Yes, yes, contain your excitement, Edie. I'm aware this is a lot to take in. Let's say it's something we can improve on. I think some redecorating is in order, don't you, Edie? Yeah, I want to redecorate. That would be cool. What should I do? Edit the shop. Okay, so we can put things on the walls. Hmm. I like that. That's much better. Shame I had to spend the... Uh, I've, I've bought the design. Okay. So I, I buy the design once and then I can just equip it. That's all right then. But yeah, the plank, the logs are definitely nicer than the plain wall. All right, new flooring. 
Let's go with stone to contrast the wood planks. And lights. Nice. Ooh, very cute. Very cute. Looks like a whole new place. Hmm, but that wasn't quite enough to increase Edie's Eclectic Ephemera as a rank. I know, why don't we decorate Edie's Elect... Why did I re Why did I name the shop this? <laughs> I'm renaming the shop if I get a chance. <laughs> why is it Why did I pick something that's so hard to say? Place an item out as decor. Um, I don't have any items to place, so I guess I won't do that. Um, I guess I have to make something. Let's make a thing that I can place. Let's make one of those. Oh wait, I have to go back here to do the actual thing. Do I have to put it on the floor? I guess I have to put it on the floor. <laughs> All right. Um, sure. For the sake of fulfilling the requirement. <laughs> All right, I need more than that then. Oh, apparently I did rank up. Okay. Hang on. Cancel. Success, you did it. Edie's Eclectic Ephemera is officially rank one. Yay. You should start to see more customers in your shop now. Keep increasing your rank and you'll keep getting more and more customers. Great name, thank you. <laughs> it's hard to say though. <laughs> Not to mention exclusive perks for higher ranked shops. But for now, why don't we open the shop and show off your hard work? I guess... The E E E shop. E E. It's in the game. Improved your shop rank, I see, kid. But increased footfall isn't all fun and games. This display, for instance, dusty. These footprints, dirty. It's disgraceful. They're your footprints. <laughs> 
Don't you know you're losing tips? That's right, Paleo Folk will tip you for the pleasure of a nice clean shop. And there's nothing like a grimy environment to put them off hanging around and buying things. You'll notice their patience going down if there's mess everywhere and they'll be less likely to buy. Come on, take this and hop to it. <sighs> Fine. I'll clean up your footprints. Dude, he's making everything dusty. Everything he touches gets dust on it. <laughs> Ahoy, Edie, and if it isn't young Addy, you wouldn't by any chance take these here poet's tools off me flippers? I'll chuck anything into a soup, so I will, but it ended up tasting like me poop deck. Hiya, Coral. It looks like the tables are turned, Edie, and it's our customer's turn to sell us an item. Dirty man. <laughs> in order to turn off a good profit for the shop, it's important to buy items in cheaply. But be careful, go too low and customers might walk away. As expected, higher offers will make our customers very pleased, but you won't end up turning a profit. Not good for running a business. Let's start with a low ball offer and see how Coral reacts. You must think I'm daft as a brush, kid. How, how about this instead? Just like haggling, they should be back and forth with the customer until the price is agreed. Just make sure you don't try too many times or they might get frustrated and walk away. Let's raise our offer. I'm well chuffed with that. That's a copper bottom deal and no mistake. Hooray! Tips, hell yeah. Getting more popular every day, Edie. Looks like we'll need to stock up on more resources, again. Lucky lucky for us, I have an exciting wee idea that's gonna maximize our exploration efficiency. Meet me in Starfall Meadow and we'll talk more about it, sure. I did a thing. Reach shop rank. Nice. No. Okay. Onward. Oh wait, the meadow. <laughs> Not that way. I wish I could rotate the camera. I guess that's not a thing. thinking that we could repair this old bridge. It would make getting to and from the meadow much quicker, but I think we have to fix it from this side. Why don't you try fixing it up for us? I'm assuming it's going to take a whole load of wood, so I'm just going to take these. No, it just takes a whole load of money. Okay. 
Yes, this looks great, Edie. May I be the first to try it? Seems nice and sturdy to me. I'll go on ahead. Take your time and meet me at Edie's Eclectic Ephemera when you're ready. Okie dokie. Alright, well, I think that's good for now. Maybe I'll grab this log since I'm here. I can't do that right now. Why not? Why not? I just... Addy just walked across it. Why can't I go across the bridge? Fine, I guess I'll go back the long way around. Oh no, it wants me to collect resources before I go back. That's what it is. Oh, there's a little snowy place as well. I think I can go back now then. Yeah, that lets me go. <laughs> cool, we have a shortcut. What do I got now? Goals. Uh, gather using axe. Oh, cool. How did the gathering go, Edie? Lots of new resources, I hope. In fact, it seems Edie's Eclectic Ephemera is soon going to have trouble displaying all your items. Perhaps it's time to increase our stock capacity. Yes. Oh, whoops. Edit the shop. If you add more display units, you can have more stock out at once. Okay, so it wants me to put them up here. Well done. That looks like the perfect place to put a display unit. If I remember correctly, according to my copy of Dino's Deals and Dividends, items placed in a display window get 25% increase in demand and value. Oh, right, okay, so putting things against the window is better. Why don't you place some items on your window units and let's open the shop, see the difference it makes. Is that the time? Well, duty calls, Edie. I'll catch you later when I get a minute. Okay, I need to make some more products. <laughs> need to create product.
Okay, and now we open up. This just in. Oh, hang on. This just in local draconic eelfish. Does indoor decorating goes well? It sure does. Also, I have to manage a shop at the same time. <laughs> I'm cleaning. Stop tracking muddy footprints into my shop. Hey, Edie, is my order ready? Yes, it is. Take it. And be gone. It's a relief to finally have someone that I can depend on. Oh, somebody else. These are so cool. Sorry, Edie. Please tell me how much this is. I love the designs of the characters. They're adorable. Yeah, they are. There's a character creator in this game, so I, I made my character as close to Edie as I could get. can't afford 6p more. Alright. Yeah, I mean, that's perfect. Would you look at that? I've got to have it. How much is it? Fine. Cheapskate. These are hard crafted, uh, handcrafted products. So many people at my desk. Name your price. Uh, monies. Wow. Sold immediately. He was just here, then why didn't he tell him in person instead of getting me to do his busy work? That mega loserosaurus is going to be mega finished when I get my claws on him. Anyway, you best check your mailbox when you get the chance or you'll never hear the end of it. Alright, Maple out. Peace. Take break. What did I do? I have achieved a thing. Oh. Press the wrong button. Cool. Although you don't currently have a permit to open Edie's Eclectic Ephemera at night, you're still able to explore the meadow. Meadow. I'm forgetting how to talk. It's quite peaceful at night, in fact, I'm sure the nocturnal paleo folk would agree, although I'm certainly not one of them. P.S. I would love, you, love to join you, but I'm working late tonight. Okay. Shred mail. Brrr. Ahoy, kid. Tell me, you haven't seen a blue Ankylosaurus around. Bit rough around the edges? He's only gone and wandered off, and I can't set sail without him. You couldn't be a treasure and keep an eye out, could you? I could. Well, that looks like a... <laughs> that looks like a thing right there. That was not difficult to find. <laughs> Oh, I can sprint. Well, that speeds things up slightly.
Hello. Alright, sorry pal. I'll get out your way. Just let me get this last bit of ore. You are joking me. That's not what I was after, is it? I've been up here all day and I still haven't found it. It's got to be perfect. Oh, sorry pal. Name's Chester. Blacksmith and rock merchant, as if you hadn't worked that out. Hang about. When did it get so dark? What time is it? Oh, you don't know if the boat's left already, do you? Alright, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta go. See you around. That's a dude. Okay. Well, that's a thing that I did. Time to collect things, I think. It is quite nice and peaceful at night, isn't it? I can use my scythe for these, I guess. Maybe not. Don't know what those are then. Sleep until morning. Investigate the knock at the door again. <laughs> Never get to leave my house without this guy showing up. Thought you'd like to know as early as possible that I've nothing to teach you today. I've taught you all I know. Finally. Good riddance. <laughs> That's not to say that either of us has nothing left to learn, just that being an intern does have its limits but sure we can pick up the rest as we go along. Learn on the job, as they say. Although, I definitely need to do some preparatory reading if I'm going to be spontaneous. <laughs> Maxwell is here as well. <laughs> Anyway, you just get on with making that 20,000 amber and pressing the mare. And I'll be back this evening to check in on your progress. Break a leg, or rather, smash a sales target, Edie. Sure thing. shop Cool. 
cool. I must clean, I must clean. Clean it all, it must be cleaned. Clean it all, it must be cleaned. Oh, hi. Need a small item for something or other. What do you recommend? Uh, I can give you a small poet's tools. Oh, nice. Sold. Wow, what a deal. Oh, I guess I got a really good... I gave him a really good deal. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have a queue. Oh, would you look at that? I've got to have it. How much is it? Uh, ten. You're kidding me, matey. Will you take eight? Uh, I'll take nine. You're kidding me, matey. Will you take eight? Fine. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Any port in a storm, I'll take it. This is just so cute and so on trend. I've got to have it. Can't you go to 715? Uh, what about 760? Come on, lower that price tag a little more. I was thinking 722. What about 730? Come on, <laughs> okay. 723, alright. Perfecto, Edie. Everyone wants this today, do they? Well, I got here first. I want it for 668. Well, it's worth more than that. So, don't push your luck, kid. I want it for 705. All right. This is acceptable. Barely. He's so mean. Town Hall needs some new decor. I need this in particular. Okay. Can do. Hmm, that will be all. I'm not normally bothered what's cool, but I can see why people like this. How much are you going to sting me for it? I'll take everything you've got. I don't know about that. Say 743. Yeah, fine. I can't be bothered to argue for ages. Brilliant. You got a deal, mate. Hey, Edie. You gotta help me out. I forgot a birthday and I need a gift ASAP. Like stylish wood item. Do you have anything like that? Uh... Yes? Is that made of wood? That's a good one. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm literally playing card game shop sim right now. A shop sim's the new battle royale. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I, I liked this one because I saw the character creator on YouTube and it was, it appealed to me. <laughs> um, but also I like Animal Crossing sometimes, but I, I, I like that this is sort of gives you a bit more to do than Animal Crossing does. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Me galley's chock-a-block. I need room to make me new soup. How much can you give me? But can you pr can you spray down smelly people? Uh, no. 
<laughs> Not as far as I know. You have to run around the shop and dust it, though. Okay. <laughs> it's one of TGS's unique points, the sweaty nerd feature. Nice. This is in, so I hear. How much would it set me back? All of your money. That's a wee bit much. Don't you suppose you can bring that price down a smidge for me? I love how your character looks so much like you, though. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a character creator in it, so you can... This is as close as I could get with what they offered. <laughs> Ta-da! Profits. Yeah, why not? I've got two things left to sell. Yes, hello. I want to buy myself a treat, but I'm overwhelmed by choice. When it comes to carpenter stuff, what would you recommend? Uh, I don't really have anything. Oh, I suppose I have the scratchy towel. Is that a carpenter thing? Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, you can have it. Go. Yay, a friendship boost. Yay, cleanliness. Oh yes, what a bargain. I'm in a rush and I don't have much time to browse right now, but I need a small item. Uh, do I have any small items? Yes, I do. I guess I don't. Never mind then. Hello? 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 Um, I pressed E, but the guy wasn't at the till, so I'm kind of stuck here now. Or. Help. <laughs> I, I might have pressed E a bit too early and there was somebody at the back of the queue and there's just this big empty space and I can't leave. I'm stuck. Um, well, I can clip it and then I can send the clip to their bug report team. <laughs> Alright, I think I have to return to the main menu. Hopefully it auto saves. Continue. What happened? Um, I can't... I can't press the thing. I can't continue right now. The button doesn't work. <laughs> uh, so, maybe I quit? <laughs> you found the useless emoji. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay, it does have an autosave feature. Thank God.
but yeah, to be honest, I was going to sort of finish this day and then wrap up, to be honest. Uh, it's getting towards cooking dinner sort of time of day. So I might... <laughs> Game decided for you, yeah. Um, so I might just uh, just double check to see if there's anything left to do in the day and then I'll um, wrap up the stream. Well, let's see. Um, nope, it's undone that whole day of shopping. That's a bit an annoying. Oh well, okay. Um, in that case then, I don't really feel like doing it again right now. So I'll end the stream here. <laughs> um, thank you everyone for coming to watch. Uh, it was a bit of a random off-schedule stream, but uh, I got the game and I wanted to, I wanted to show people. <laughs> so um, that's what... That's why I'm here. Anyway, I think next Thursday I'll be playing Sonic Heroes because I managed to grab the game off of our GameCube disc. So I'm going to be doing that next time. Yeah, <laughs> Sonic Heroes. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. So we'll be doing that next Thursday. Um... And before then, maybe there'll be something else, but probably not, because I think my weekend's pretty packed. So, um, thanks for coming along, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>